Hello and welcome to my quiet little corner here on YouTube. So today I am doing a general freestyle reading, okay, so there's no particular direction. I'm just pulling the energy for what is going on for the collective and see whatever comes out, okay. Um, the only set decks that I've picked for this reading is going to be one of my poker decks. Um, this gorgeous tarot deck that was actually... It was gifted to the channel there. So this one's called the Unfolding Path Tarot. And then I'm going to be using the Divine Initiation Oracle for your healing and advice messages at the end of the read. Um, there's a link in my description box for this particular deck. And yeah, any other decks that want to come out, well, we'll have to wait and see as we start getting into the read, okay? Because it's completely directionless we're just pulling whatever it is that you need to know right now okay right so what's going on for our collective please what's going on for our collective okay right so your first message out is the seven of hearts now, this one is all about broken promises. It can indicate that somebody's being fickle with you or someone is being false with you, okay? Someone is not being very um, forthcoming, should we say, with this one. Your Seven of Hearts tells you to be on guard um, because an individual that you thought you could trust or you thought was trustworthy is uh, showing signs of being quite insincere here, okay? What else for our collective? Also as well, these reads, they can read in the reverse. So for example, you could be coming off to someone else as this energy, okay? So definitely do keep an open mind. Is there anything that you're doing right now that could possibly cause concern for others about your own trustworthiness? Uh, the Queen of Diamonds, okay. Now, your court cards, more often than not in cartomancy, they are going to be other people, and less frequently they're going to be situations. So again, use your own discernment and take it as and when it resonates, okay? This is the energy of being sociable, okay? You could be dealing with someone who loves to socialize and maybe perhaps you like to keep yourself more sort of hermit-esque, you know, maybe, maybe you're not a big fan of socializing or vice versa. You're a big fan of socializing, but someone else that you're dealing with, not so much, okay? There does seem to be a bit of a clash here and so with but it's saying with this combination for you guys is to avoid committing yourself to anything that you know you're not going to be able to give your full attention okay don't agree to go along with anything just for the sake of agreeing okay if you're not feeling it right now you're not feeling it and the message is not to force it okay you then have the Jack of Hearts. Now, this one, again, could be a person, could be a situation. You've got to be careful with cartomancy because, as I said, more often than not, they can indicate other people. Um, less often situations, okay? This Jack of Hearts can actually be a really good friend, um, somebody that you would consider being close to you. And again, with your first card out being the Seven of Hearts, Spirit's telling you to be mindful, be cautious, be aware of this particular energy, okay? So if somebody has randomly started to be overly familiar with you, overly friendly with you, um, be cautious of that, okay? This could be somebody that you consider being a very dear friend of yours who um, is keeping some kind of secret here, right? What else for our collective? What else? Oh, there's a lot of messages that are wanting to come out, as you can see. Um, but we, we're really looking for clear, precise messages here. What else for our collective? 
Um, okay, I'm getting a channeled message here. That's the seven of spades. Um, that someone's smell is different. Okay, S someone, someone smells a bit strange. Something smells a bit off. Um, it's almost, I mean... It's a strange thing to say, and it sounds really quite woo, but you can smell energies, okay? Uh, the classic smell of death, for example. Um, you know, that that's a really common one. But I'm getting a channeled message here of how someone that you're dealing with, their smell has changed. And it's almost like you can smell um, that, they're, that they're hiding something. Do you know what I mean? I appreciate that that sounds really quite woo, okay? But I've got to go along with whatever messages come out. That's literally the whole point of me sitting reading tarot. Uh, so for your seven of spades, this can actually represent challenging tasks or challenging events that are coming at you really quite soon, okay? It can indicate um, you being in receipt of bad advice. Um, it, it's some kind of loss. Usually it's the loss of a friendship, okay, or a friendship that is very troubled at this point in time. Um, so again, it is connected to this seven of hearts, queen of diamonds, jack of hearts, okay, it, it's absolutely connected. Um, I feel that there is possibly, again, not for all of you, um, for, for some of you, it, it's showing me betrayal from a friend that you weren't expecting, okay? You weren't expecting this individual um, to behave this way or to do whatever it is that they've just done and that they're currently hiding Eight of spades off center. It's scattered energy. Um, again, deceit, danger, caution is definitely advised here. Um, there, there's someone really quite angry with this eight of spades coming out off center. Uh, it shows false friends. So, again, I mean, I could be reading past energies, okay? This might have already happened. Um, so it's not going to be any surprise to you that this energy is coming out. So consider who it was that you were closest to that betrayed you so, so deeply. And that's the person who is currently in your energy right now. OK, uh, that particular relationship is going to be put uh, under the microscope, I feel. So there might well be a revisitation from this particular individual. Um, and again, for anyone who th they feel that this is incoming, you know, because again, you've already got your suspicions. Uh, if you if you feel that this is what's coming into you, it's really important that you don't end up losing your temper. OK, that you don't internalize this particular betrayal and that you see that as a message of who they have always been, okay, rather than who you thought that they were, okay. Yeah, King of Diamonds. Um, so again, I mean, this is someone who is really hot-tempered, uh, they can be very revengeful, and basically they, they cannot be uh, negotiated with, okay. So it's someone very rigid, very stubborn, uh, someone who is determined that they're absolutely correct with everything. Um, it could well be as well, going back to that bad advice message, uh, either they have given you bad advice, like deliberately, or someone has given you bad advice on how to deal with them, okay? Uh, you've got the seven of, uh, excuse me, the seven of diamonds at the bottom of the deck. Um, uh, that's not great, okay, because that's unpleasant rumours, it's scandals. And I'll, I will hold up the deck for you so that you can see the atmosphere of that particular one as well. Um, it feels like someone's being hunted, okay. So again, if if this betrayal 
from an individual that you once considered as being a very close, very dear friend to you, then it tells me that they are currently hunting you. Um, but again, I don't want to play into anyone's fears, okay? So what that would mean is basically that they're looking for you, they're trying to find you. Um, it feels like they've got something here to say to you, and that that's the only thing that they're focused on right now, okay? Right, so let's start clarifying this energy, and we'll see what else comes out for you. Can you tell us more about this energy for our collective, please? What's going on for our collective? What's going on? Okay. Uh, the Knight of Coins, another Knight. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, two Knights and a Queen. So it is possible that other people got themselves involved in this situation. Very, very possible, because you're getting so many court cards that come out. But again, uh, it can be other people, it can be situations, okay? Um, it feels to me, and you do have the Six of Cups out here as well with the Magician, and the Three of Cups, yeah. Uh, so the Three of Cups combined with all of these court cards does definitely indicate um, that there were a lot of other people involved with this situation, or there will be, as you already suspect. Uh, it does seem to me that you're the topic of gossip that's going on within this group, okay? Um... And the hurtful thing is, this particular group, they should, by rights, they should be standing up for you, and they're not. Instead of standing up for you and doing the right thing, being a good person, they are shit-stirring even further, causing further problems, okay? Now, with the Six of Cups, Three of Cups being here, again, it's indicating to me that you have actually a lot of good memories with these people. You know, probably grew up together and just basically expected that you were all going to have each other's backs and it's not played out that way. For whatever reason, it's just not played out that way at all. Um, I do feel that I'm needing more information here because the energy is really, it is icky. Uh, what's this Knight of Coins, please? What's this Knight of Coins? If this is a situation that you're currently going through, then it's showing me that you are going to come out of this situation, um really quite good okay so things are being revealed to you where perhaps you should have disconnected from these people a while ago okay um i do actually see you doing really really well once you break free from this particular group this is knight of coins for our collective please Yeah, the Six of Swords literally moving away. So if you moved away from these people, then the rumours, the gossip and the slander is coming from a place of jealousy because you're the one that got out. You're the one that got away. Okay. And perhaps these individuals benefited from you being in that environment, right? The worrying thing is how you got the message of someone's looking for you from this group, someone's looking for you. Well, why, what do they want, you know? Remember, you're the one that got away or you're the one that will get away. Again, depending on how this energy is reading. What's this Knight of Wands, please? 
Yeah. Two of Wands reversed. It's going backwards. It is going backwards. So you're definitely the one that got away. And your past is trying to catch up with you here. See, with this Knight of Wands, that can be a really excitable energy. It's very um, adventurous, quite sort of upbeat and spunky. Yeah. In this context, how it's reading is it would be very irresponsible to go backwards to this environment, to these people. It would be quite simply far, far, far too risky. Okay. Um, Neither ones is someone who acts on impulse. Okay. Uh, so if there was any temptation to sort of re-engage the lines of communication with this person or with these people, uh, with anyone who's associated with this situation that you've been through, to go back to that would be absolutely pointless, painful, um, and it would cause a lot of sadness. Okay. Two of Wands in reverse. That spirit saying, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Mrs. Queen, thank you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune or Santa. Um, so again, if this is a situation that you're currently living through, it's showing me that your luck is going to turn for the better. Okay. Um, but also it's showing me that this situation that played out, it pushed you to do better. It pushed you to improve your life. It pushed you to make a success of yourself. Okay. Um, now with it coming out off center, the, that does indicate to me some type of karmic energy. And again, if you recall, that is falling under the Jack of Hearts. Okay. Uh, so definitely do be suspicious of anybody associated with this betrayal um, suddenly acting all pally pally with you. Okay. Be very suspicious of that. Because again, with that coming out off center, it feels karmic. Really, really karmic. These are definitely karmic people from your past trying to get their feet back under the table. And you would be surprised how common that actually is. Can you tell us more for our collective, please? Okay. King of Swords. This is saying for you to consider everything, to be smart and to think things through. Okay. Um, we've got controlled manifestation here. <clears throat> so perhaps at some point in the past, you were trying to manifest this group, this situation because of the pain of everything that you went through, the pain of everything that they put you through, you are probably wishing um, that n either none of it happened or that you could go back and fix things or that they would give you a chance in this, that and the next. Um, it does appear that that particular um, intent is coming through but Spirit's also saying that that's not what's going to be healthy for you. Okay. Um, it, it, I mean, this situation is complicated. It's really, really complicated. Can you tell us more for the Magician? For our collective, please. Magician for our collective. Can you have clear? Thank you. Yeah. The Eight of Wands and the Sun. Charge towards your own happiness, your own abundance. Um, your success would actually be impacted in a negative way if you were to go back to this person, these people, or this situation. Okay. Uh, your growth is on the line. 
if if you were to go back to this your growth and everything that you have worked towards all of your accomplishments all of that would be put on the line so consider what it is that you're trying to achieve here with that magician energy okay remember your eight of sp your eight of spades off center caution is being advised what is it that you're contributing to what is it that you're manifesting what is it that you're getting involved with okay you're getting involved again or the risk of getting involved again with fake phony ass people remember you're the one that got away this is six of cups yeah the tower reversed you can't undo the past no matter how hard you try no matter how much you wish it to happen you can't undo the past the tower reversed this one indicates that if you were to go back to this situation and bear in mind that this group could also be someone's family um, then they would continue to oppress you in ways that you won't see coming okay spirit's telling you here that you've already dodged the tower you've already dodged um quite a lot of metaphorical bullets because you escaped you got out right so try not to allow nostalgia to overtake your logical thinking okay nostalgia is one of those things it can be very very beautiful it can also be very painful and very dangerous okay so it's like honor the time that you had that you did enjoy with these people but recognize and understand that that can it can never be replayed it can never be relived you know and it does sound really really sad but you've got to hold on to the message here of um that's an incredibly weak foundation okay it's possible that this group or these people are showing glimmers of of hope and happiness you know how people put things on social media and they only ever put the best things of their lives on social media uh it in some ways when it comes from manipulative people it is um to basically make someone else feel like they're missing out on something okay uh, and none of it's real you've got to keep that in mind as well none of it's real so for example if this was going on within a family and you've escaped that family there could have been or there soon will be a big family event a big family gathering of which you're not going to be invited to and then they're all going to be posting it on their social medias and making out how happy and you know how close they all are and yada 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 and really genuinely playing into this uh, feeling of you being the outsider okay you've got to keep in mind that that's fake it is fake and you know that deep down okay the tower in reversed right can you tell us more for our collective please yeah the fool and look how it's come out it's come out off center again spirits doubling down on this message of if you're to go back to that situation all those people that would be incredibly foolish and it would set back your progress on your growth on your healing that you've been working on for such a long time that it would set you back exponentially okay there's not a single person on the planet that is worth that because you have done so much work on yourself the fool off center that spirit saying it's a bad idea it's a bad plan don't fall into this trap of emotional thinking emotional blackmail also don't fall into that trap Th this is definitely one of those reads where it's literally you've got to remember who the fuck you are and how that you know the, what it took you to get there yeah is it really going to be worth the price that you have to pay no it isn't and spirit's telling you that 
and saying, look, you've got to keep moving forward. You can't go backwards. Was this Three of Cups, please? Thank you. Yeah, I see. Three of Cups clarified with the Seven of Swords. So again, if this if this is something that's going on for you right now and you're starting to suspect a particular group of people, your suspicions are like nail on the head. Okay. If this if this is past energies that's coming back towards you, you can just literally expect more of the same from those people. They haven't changed, they haven't grown, they haven't evolved, they haven't matured. They're still the exact same. Still the exact same as when you left them. They've never done anything to improve their own lives. Not the way that you have. Not at all. If they were takers back then, they're going to be takers right now. Yeah, four of swords at the bottom of the deck. You have to reconsider your position here. You have to reconsider how much influence this person or these people have in your life. You have to reconsider everything to do with them and the situation. Justice. Four of Wands. There's that karmic energy. Four, two, four, four. And you've got the Five of Swords underneath that one. I don't know why I was holding it up to the wrong camera there. Force a habit. <laughs> this calm, there's karmic energy all over this one. You deserve a quiet, happy, peaceful life. That's what you've been working on. That's what you've been building. And you have to consider, is this situation or these people, is that going to be worth everything that you've built up? It isn't. It genuinely isn't. Five of Swords underneath that one. These people have always been in competition with you. Always have been, always will be. Why, why else do you think they make a big song and dance of putting everything on social media? Where they know or where they suspect that you're going to see it. Because they've always been in competition with you. Look how great our lives are. Look how fantastic we're doing. Yada, yada, yada. It's all designed to try and make you feel like even more of the outcast. And it's to try and make you feel like you're jealous of them. You're not jealous of them. You just want to be or wanted to be part of something. Part of something that you thought was special. The truth is, you loved these people, you cared for these people far more than what they loved or cared for you. And that, that hurts. It genuinely hurts. And if you were to go back to that situation, nothing would change. Because these individuals, they are incapable of growth. You're the topic of their conversation right now. And none of it pleasant. Which I find absolutely disgusting. If this, if this is a current group of friends and they're doing that, that's absolutely disgusting. That's horrific. What do they stand to gain from that? I don't know. I, I wouldn't even like to begin to try and psychoanalyze people who do that. But as long as you recognize and understand that that kind of behavior, that is not normal. Friends or family are not supposed to do that to each other. That's not normal. But the problem is as well that it might have been normalized for you. And that's why it's coming out in this read, because your normal meter is out of whack. So you've got to re-collaborate your own normal meter. Reconsider what your normal meter is. Okay, four of, sword, uh, four of swords, four of swords and justice. 
It could also be that you came from a family who did this to you and then you got involved with a group of friends, quote unquote friends, who then continued that particular pattern. You are attracted to what feels familiar. So you've got to work on your normal meter because your normal meter is off whack. Because this kind of shit ain't normal. Not by a long shot. Okay, it really, really isn't. And you deserve far better than that. You know that deep down. Like I said, I'm not giving you any brand new information. You, you already know what goes on behind your back. You're just looking for some kind of confirmation to back up your own suspicions. You're not being paranoid. You're not being paranoid at all. You've even got the hanged man underneath that three of cups. And there you go, ten of swords. I couldn't make it up if I tried. I couldn't. You've got to remember what it was that these people did to you. Okay, you've been on this quest of growth and enlightenment ever since that. Seeing the betrayal now, Ten of Swords, for exactly what it was. Completely unnecessary energies. These people have put you through so much unnecessarily. Why? To try and make themselves feel better. Now, why would anybody want to do that? Because Five of Swords, they were competing with you. The concerning thing is, there is one of these people that is currently actively looking for you. So you might have moved away, you might have changed your name, you, you could have changed everything about you to get away from these people and now you've got one of them that's coming looking for you. Can I have a healing message for our collective, please? Okay, so it's that top one there. Uh, divine timing. So that basically means that where you're at right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. So again, reconsider how this reading is resonating for you. Are you currently in the middle of this right now? Or are you at the back end of this, maybe feeling tempted to go back to them? Okay, you've got to consider where, where it is that you're at. So for the first one, if you're currently in the thick of this, if this is an ongoing situation, Spirit's saying, Right now, you're exactly where you need to be. You need to see these people for who they truly, truly are. Okay. And for those who are on the arse end of this, and then you, you receive a message from one of these people trying to coax you back in, Spirit's saying where you're at which is this queen of coins energy, this growth, this abundance, this beautiful uh, self-assured energy, self-sufficient energy, you know, where your luck seems to have become so much better ever since you disconnected from that. That is your birthright. It's your birthright. That quiet, peaceful life that's your birthright, okay? Let's take a look. Number 19. Yep, you are exactly where you need to be. Everything is unfolding for you in divine timing. The universe is orchestrating a beautiful plan for your life. One that you cannot quite see yet. Yeah, so if you're in the thick of it, all you can see at the moment is the lies, the betrayal, the deceit, the gossip, the slander, the rumours, the bullying, the maliciousness. That's all you're going to be able to see. 
Spirit's telling you that this is all part of the ultimate plan that is unfolding for you so that you can go on to create a beautiful, abundant, successful, peaceful life, okay? You're not going to be able to take these people with you. That it's, It really is as simple as that. So there's not going to be time for nostalgia throughout this process, okay? Let this play out. Let this play out. Let these people reveal to you their true souls. If people wore their souls on their face, would they still be beautiful? Some of them wouldn't be. They absolutely wouldn't be, okay? Uh, if you have been working towards your goals, know that they are protected by greater cosmic forces that will guarantee a successful outcome. Through patience, persistence, and consistency, trust that your dreams and desires will be fulfilled. The universe is working in perfect harmony to support you in every way. Yeah, and then your positive affirmation that comes with this card is, I trust the timing of my life. I am exactly where I am meant to be, right? Also, for those of you who have already gotten out of this situation, and then you receive this message from one of these people trying to coax you back in, uh, not only consider everything that you've been through to get to this point of success that you're at right now and consider the risks associated with going back to that situation and how things would actually start going backwards for you if you were to go backwards, um, but also consider the amount of times that they actively sabotaged your own attempts at trying to better yourself. How many times did they sabotage you, try and stop you? Um, you know, consider uh, how differently your life would have played out had they not have carried on with all this nonsense, right? If they hadn't carried on with this nonsense, if you hadn't caught them, you'd still be right in the thick of it. And, and your luck would still be incredibly shit. And your life would not have become as successful as what it is right now. It, it wouldn't have. There's no two ways about it. Okay. Spirits reveal to you these people for a reason. Because you were not supposed to be associated with them. You were not. Okay, so do keep that in mind when this person comes in with all of their manipulation and they're, they're trying to tempt you and this, that and the next. Don't fall for it. Because like I said, if, if you had never left, your life would have been a shitload worse. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So do not sit there with regrets about the way that things played out. Okay, you've nothing to regret. And remember, sometimes your feelings, your emotions through that nostalgia, it can be really, really tricky, really tricky. And you know deep down, had you stayed in that situation, your life guaranteed would have been so much worse. So what you actually did by removing yourself away from these people was you took away their permission to treat you like shit. So that's what you've got to hold on to because they, one of these people, they are currently looking for you. There's no two ways about it. They are currently looking for you. I don't know if they'll be successful, if they'll get bored and quit. But if they are successful, that's going to put you right, right in line of temptation. Temptation to believe that things are going to be different, that things are going to be better. Your cards are telling me that this individual, they still cannot and should not be trusted. And if they're currently trying to cozy, cozy up to you, They've got hidden motives. They have a hidden agenda behind that. Okay. So focus on the newness. Focus on the growth, the abundance. And again, with that weird channeled message about how this individual 
if you do meet up to them face to face, um, if, then you, that's one of the first things you're going to realize is about that smell. They've got a weird smell to them now, like an attachment type smell. It's weird. Um, right, so let's put a little bit of cheery, lighthearted energy back into this read because that was intense as fuck. Um, I'm going to be using one of the funny decks. This one is Get Your Deck Out. If you're allergic to swearing or sarcasm, then you just don't have to listen, okay? It's just something that I like to do at the end of the read, just to really uplift everything, right? Yeah, see, is this worth my energy? The answer is no, it's not worth your energy, okay? The Bountiful Beaver. Energy is limitless. It's there for everyone. It's our experience of it that affects us. So if we're getting the piss taken out of us, if we're people pleasers, if there's no fair exchange, then yes, we do start to feel that in uh, we do start to feel that the reservoirs are running dry. So you change your experience. Never feel exhausted or overwhelmed again. Your, be your beaver is telling you to manage your energy wisely and with consideration for bountiful blessings ahead. I can never read that card without my brain going straight to the gutter. Um, I don't know if it's the same across the pond, but in the UK, uh, a beaver is used as a name for the um, female genitalia. So, I mean, if your beaver's telling you something, you should definitely listen. I'm just going to leave that one there um, before I get banned from YouTube. But yeah. That is what I have for you guys today. I genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it and you're wanting to see more. Information for uh, how to book a personal reading with me, that can be found in my description box below, as can the link for these gorgeous cards. These ones here. Uh, if you wish to pick up yourself a copy of these decks, they're absolutely beautiful. You're going to find the link for that down below as well. Right, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.